John Atkins had a passion for the sport of alpine skiing. He loved it so much that his teams became some of the best in the world. When he took over as trainer, uh, it was a, a bunch of good skiers that uh, had occasional success. And when he left the ski team, they were a bunch of good skiers who were the best. Kristen Cooper, Cindy Nelson, Tamara McKenna, helped train Mark Tasche, Stephen Phil Mayer, the list goes on. When I first met John, I had already been on the team for quite some time and I was considered the, like the captain of the team. And now they said we had this physical trainer who was coming in to work with us, get us in shape, uh, help us through injuries. And I thought, but he's not a coach. You know, how does this fit? Well, John had a very unique background. He was a combat medic in Vietnam, but he came to the ski team with a background in, in other sports, football, um, and so he was able to think out of the box in terms of how, how to condition the athlete. Skiing isn't a team sport, but John brought this team ethic into it, which is really useful for us because, yeah, you're all alone out there and it's you against the clock in ski racing, but if you don't feel that support mechanism with the team, um, it's a lot harder to get through the ups and downs in Europe. He brought all kinds of ways to instill that team spirit with us in a way that was also fun. I mean, that's what makes John different, is we had more fun and working harder than we've ever worked before. Always reviewing it from the men's side, seeing the women as a tight core unit. I was always uh, jealous of that. I always wanted to recruit John to our side because I really think that he just had that, that, uh, that magic. Here's a guy who doesn't come from a skiing background and we are telling him, oh, you gotta be at the top of the hill in this blizzard, it's cold, it's wet, and oh, by the way, will you carry all of our parkas down? And, and the video camera pack, which weighs 40 pounds. One of the things that really stands out because it blew the Europeans' minds so much was that J.A. would do karate drills with us in the start. Here was a black belt in karate. I think he was the Armed Forces black belt champion in Vietnam. And it would just stop the whole World Cup. All these other coaches and stuff, and just, you know, the kids would look at us, what are they doing? John Atkins and I are still the reigning two-on-two -two basketball champs. John and Topper showed up in a smoked Continental at preseason camp when we were breaking pro. I pulled out of the car on the two-on-two -two basketball game, kicked our ass, proceeded to jump back in their Lincoln Continental and head off into the sunset. To me, that's classic J.A. I think for John, taking all of his, his previous experiences and now applying them to what they've created here in Vail with the Howard Head Sports Medicine Therapy Centers, that will be his legacy. It's a perfect place for the positive attitude, the team spirit, and the can-do attitude to thrive. So he continues to come up with innovative ideas and innovative solutions that are um, making it better for not just world-class skiers, but recreational skiers as well. And what that does is continue to inspire him to want to learn as much as he can about the sport, but more so it gets back that motivation, getting someone out there to do the best that they can. He took a rehabilitation center along with nine other centers since then to a level that is known not only in the state of Colorado, but in the nation and in the 